What is going on guys, it is Brandon from Exquisite Football here with S1 and today we're going to be doing our Champions League quarterfinals predictions. Um, the games are coming up in the next coming weeks, the first and second leg. And yeah, we're going to go through uh, the matchups and we're going to talk about what we think is going to happen, who's going to go through and the aggregate score. So. Alright, uh, well I'm just going to list uh, all of the matchups for uh, this upcoming uh, Champions League uh, match day. Liverpool versus FC, Spurs versus Man City. Man United versus Barca, and finally Juventus versus Ajax. And let's start with Liverpool versus F uh, versus FC Porto. Uh, I think Liverpool is going to win uh, just because they have this amazing defense with uh, Van Dijk, uh, Robertson, and Alexander Arnold, and whoever is in the middle with uh, supporting um, Van Dijk. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that. Uh, Liverpool and Porto were in the same group at the beginning of the Champions League and the first two games those those two games uh, was Liverpool 5-0 away but they tied 0-0 at home for some reason um, and yeah they have an amazing defense and they've only conceded 27 27 goals in like 50 games or more so that's pretty good for I think yeah what do you think the score will be uh, I aggregate. think Liverpool will win 5-3 aggregate. Alright, so I think Liverpool is also going to go through. I, I don't think uh, Porto is going to get as many chances as Esteban saying. I think it's going to be 3-0 Liverpool on aggregate. Um, first game will be 2-0, the second game will be 1-0. I don't think Porto will get even maybe any half the chances as Liverpool does. Their defense is way too good, mm -hmm. as you can see against Bayern and the other teams that they've played. But I think that Liverpool will go through 3-0 three up, three up on aggregate. Alright, so the next matchup is Spurs versus Man City. And this is kind of hard. Uh, these two teams are really good. Um, but I think Man City is just going to go through. Uh, just because uh, Spurs haven't won versus Man City since the 2016-2017 Premier League season. Um, however, uh, Sergio Aguero is injured from a hamstring injury. So I think that um, that might affect them in some way. Um, but Spurs have this new stadium, and I think that's gonna give them like uh, a little bit of help and more. Um, what's the word? More um, confidence. More confidence, yeah, because of their new stadium and more. Um, yeah, of that. But I think Man City's just gonna go through four two. Um, yeah. I think. I think Man City will also go through, um, sitting top two on the table against Liverpool right now in the Premier League. Spurs have dropped from the top four a few times this season, and now they're back and, back and forth, stuff like that. Um, I think it will be pretty close. I know Man City is probably the best team in the world right now besides Barca. Um, I'm going to say that it's gonna, uh, Man City is going to go through 4-3. Um, I think Spurs will play pretty well. I feel like they'll tie the first game and then Man City will be the team that they are and always come through and win under Pep. But yeah, I think Man City's gonna go through on this. All right, sounds good. Uh, next matchup is Man United versus Barcelona. And this is a tough match as well. Uh, Barcelona are destroying in this season. Uh, they're in first place, of course, and Messi's just killing it with those 32 goals, which is crazy. Uh, they're unstoppable. Um, they haven't lost, well, they've lost two games and tied like a lot, but they're really good. Um, Man United has conceded over 50 goals this season, while Barca only 30. These are my uh, statistics that uh, Barca Barcelona is going to win 4 1 aggregate. Um, I think Barca is going to go through. Uh, I think it's going to be much more of a blowout. I don't see Man, uh, Man United doing it. As well as they did on against PSG, that was pretty lucky. Yeah. PSG should definitely be where they where Man United is right now. But I think it's going to be much more of like a massacre. I think Barca is going to win like nine three or seven three or something large. Yeah. They're going to absolutely smash them because Man United pretty questionable defense. Mm -hmm. um, they're not really known to have a great defense in these past years, and Messi can just tear through all of that just by himself. But with his team, how they've been playing right now. I think Barca is going to go through. I'll finalize at 7-2. 7, two. seven, seven wow. two. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, our last and final matchup is Juventus versus Ajax. Uh, actually, I want you to start this one. All right, well, going to be an unpo unpopular opinion. I said that Ajax would do pretty well against Real Madrid last time, but I said Real Madrid would go through. 
I solely said that just because they uh, they lost to Bayern the first game, and then they tied Bayern 3-3, and that was a great game. And then they beat Real Madrid, what, like 5-3. Five, 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 three. Three. Yeah. So I'm going to say that in the first game, Ajax is going to win 2-0. At home, yeah. At home. Mm -hmm. And then the second game, Ajax is going to win 3-2. So it will be 5-2, Ajax just because of how good they're playing right now. All the young talents, they have Hakim, they have De Jong, they have De Ligt, they have Van de Beek, good man. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think Ajax will go through on this one. Their, their momentum after beating Real Madrid, three-time champion of the Champions League, I feel like they'll go through for sure. Okay, all right, oh, what score did you say? 5-2. Five, 5-2, two. Five, two. wow. Um, actually, I'm going uh, around Juventus. I think Juventus is gonna go through. Uh, Ronaldo has just been amazing for them, but he has an injury, so it's uh, probable that. I, I hope he. I hope he plays. I hope he get. He recovers uh, to that game. Um, but I just want Juventus to win and go to the semifinal and then to the finals. Uh, Ronaldo has won five Champions Leagues, and he, and if he wins this one, it'll be six times and. No one has ever done that, um, but yeah, I think Juventus is gonna go through three to two, and that's it. Aggregate, yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. We'll be back with the semifinals predictions after this, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.